Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, I'll be teaching you how to properly sew your 720 degrees flay peplon with crinoline or horse hair as you can see. So you can see this is actually very neat. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, stay till the end of this tutorial. In this class, I'll be simplifying with you. I'll be showing you the easiest way to go about the 720 degrees peplum flay. So when we talk about 720, 720 is just two circles, okay? Two circles, okay? 360 is one circle, okay? And one circle is the 360 degrees so this is what a circle means this is the circle so if you are making your normal flay this is just one circle you need on the waistline or wherever you want to attach it but now when we talk about 720 we are talking about two of these circles okay so if you are attaching these two circles together it will be forming 720 for you so now, if you have a waistline of 36 inches and you are making 720 degrees, that means you are going to divide 36 by 2. Your whole waist will be divided by 36 by 2, which is 18. So in today's class, we'll be concentrating on how to make 722 circles for a waist of 36. So I've already divided 36 by 2, and here you can see I have 18 inches. So these 18 inches, because we are going to join these two circles together, there will be a seam allowance in between them, okay? And there will be a zipper allowance on one part and the other part for your zipper. So you'll be adding plus one, one inch for zipper and 0 0.5 for joining both of them, which is 1.5. So now we are working with 18 plus 1.5, which is 19.5. So that becomes... The circumference we are going to use to cut a one circle. Okay, so we are going to cut one circle with this circumference and we'll have double them to have our 720 degrees circle on the waistline of 36 inches. So this circle, because it's one circle we are making of 360, we are going to divide it by 3 uh, by 6 point. Divide this by 6.28, my result is 3 inches. So I'm working with reduce 3 inches now. So this is the radius you are going to use to work on this. So once you have gotten your radius, next is to get the length of your flay. Okay, radius is 3 inches. Then the length of our flay is determined by what you are making. If you are making a skirt, if you are making a peplum. So a peplum is always attached. It's a flay attached to the upper body. So since you are making a peplum, a 720 degrees peplum here, so I will advise you get the whole length of your dress from your shoulder to the length of the dress okay so if you whatever you measure let me say i'm working with 25 inches from shoulder to the length of my dress now your half length you have to determine take away the half length where you are going to attach this peplum so my half length from shoulder is 17 when i take away the whole length i'll be having eight inches so now i'm working with radius three inches and length eight inches so these are the parameters you are we are going to use to cut the, these 360 degrees so now to cut this circle i'll be using my paper to cut this because i really need you to see very clearly what i'm going to do whatever i cut on this paper i'm going to place it on my fabric to cut the two circles to cut my lining then i'll show you how to sew it with our horse hair braid or our crinoline so this is my full pepper. So if you are folding your 360 degrees and you are working with a yard of fabric. So if this is my one yard of fabric, I'll just go ahead and fold it the one yard to meet the other. So I'll fold it to meet the other. So I have folded it the first time. Then I'm going to fold it the second time. So I believe you are seeing what I'm doing there. So once you have folded this the second time, you have to ensure that what you have on this part and on this part corresponds to the length we just calculated. Okay, so the length we calculated is 
8 inches and the radius is 3 inches so when you add the length and the, uh, the radius the, and the length together everything from here to here should be giving you about 11 um, inches okay so now i'll first of all take the measurement of my circumference my radius so once i folded my paper here i'll take the circumference of my radius uh, the radius i will take the radius so from here i place my tape i'll mark three inches i'll mark three inches i'll mark another three inches so make sure that the three inches is placed accordingly and ensure that you you are not adding any extra length to this flat flay so now this is my radius from here to here is three inches which is the radius which we calculated now the length of the flay is eight inches so this eight inches i'm going to add one inch to it making it nine so i'll be able to stitch half an inch here and turn the lining with half an inch as well so i'll just go ahead and mark my nine inches nine inches so that's why i'm working on paper i really want you to understand and i want to make it easy for you all right, so now I'll just join the circles. I'll join the circles. So now I'm going to cut what I have on my circle. And that is what I'm going to use to cut on my fabric. Alright people, so this is it and that is the circle. Okay, so this is going to serve as the pattern. So right now I've already hasted my fabric, okay? I hasted the back of the fabric. So I'm going to cut the two circles for the fabric right now. So if you also wish, you can go ahead and haste the your lining, okay? But the lining I'm working with is somehow thick. So I will not be hasting it right now. So I'll just go ahead and cut this circle. Okay, so I'm just making it easy, easy, and to save fabric too. So instead of laying and having a wastage on your fabric, you can save your fabric. So once I've cut on the circle, so I'll be using what I have right here. I'll place it on my lining too. Okay, so I'm going to place everything together before uh, on the lining. So I'll just go ahead and lift this a little up this way. So try and be careful. I just want to make okay so make sure you pin it all around so once I've done that so note that we've added our seam allowances on the paper so I'm not adding anything at all at all so I'll just cut off all right so now I've cut out the two clay and like I said I hasted the both of them as you can see so I'm going to place this on top of my uh, lining. So this is the lining I'm working with. So if you wish, you can go ahead and haste your lining. But for this class, I'm not going to haste because the lining I have here is somehow thick. So I'll just go ahead and fold it into two. Okay, so like I said, this method of cutting your 720 is going to make you save your fabric, okay? So, and you still have a perfect result at the end of the day. So, I'll just go ahead and do what? Cut round it. I'm cutting the lining, the fabric, everything as you can see right there using my pattern. So, this is my fabric has stayed, two of them my lining two of them so you can hasten your lining if you wish to do that 
So this is what we have on the round two circles. So all I'm going to do is just to come over to this line and separate everything. We have all our seam allowances for everything. So you can see I separated my circle. So the next I'm going to do is to start joining. I'll take off the pattern I used and I'm going to join them. You can see how they are. I'll just pick them the way it is. Go to my machine, so at 0 0.5, pick this, so at 0 0.5. So if you actually want it to not to scatter, you can see what I just did right here. I have to place right side to right side, right side to right side. So it makes your 720 degrees peplum easy. So I pick it now and run my stitches. Now I've joined the uh, flay, so you can see where I joined the both of them now. And I did that for the lining. So I just go ahead and do and turn the that joining. I'm turning both of them this way. So I'm going to pin them, making sure I have the joinings exactly at the point before I sew. Okay. So I just hold it down with my pin till I get to the end right now. Then we'll sew. I want to show you how to go about the sewing of this very perfectly and easily. So you can see how I laid and pinned them, if you remember. So this is my lining. So you are going to place your crinoline on the lining this way. Can you see how I placed it? And this is my hemming gum. So I'll go ahead and place my hemming gum. So what the hemming gum does for you is it helps to stick this very perfectly for you. So I just drop my presser foot right now. And I'm sewing, I'll backstitch at that point. Then I'm going to sew um, at half an inch, very carefully, okay? So you can see what I'm doing. So please don't stretch the crinoline. Don't stretch the crinoline. So I'll go ahead and I'll keep sewing, placing the crinoline and the hemming gum so the both of them I'll keep sewing them this way so I'll take my time to sew this to the end of it okay so you can see what are the processes it took me to achieve this better and good result so I'll sew it to the end right now then I'll show you how to top stitch So I'll keep sewing the crinoline. You can see how I'm laying the hemming glue right on top of it. So once I get to the end, I'll just cut out the excess I have there. Then I'll top stitch. So this is me top stitching right now, flipping all the seams to the part of the lining as you can see. So make sure you spread them out accordingly as you can see me do right now. now. So you can see what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do till I get to the end of the top stitching. Right now I'm done top stitching and I'm ironing very carefully. So make sure you carefully iron. So right now you can see I'm done. So you can see my peplum is actually looking beautiful inside and outside. So I just pretended I've already sewn it on, on the waistline. Okay, so once you sew it on the waistline, this is how it's going to appear at the end of the day. Okay. So you can see it has that standing effect because of the crinoline which we use right here. So we just go ahead and sew this, okay? We just go ahead and sew it on the waist line. So once you sew it and on the waist line, it has that effect for you. So you can also decide to pleat if you want to pleat, okay? That's if you are going to have a pleating to this. Just make sure that when you are cutting your radius, you add your pleating 
allowance okay so but for this we did not add our pleating allowance so you just go ahead and sew this into your waistline and it gives you this beautiful finished outlook okay. so this is how we come to the end of this tutorial and i believe you learned a lot from this class so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you once again see you in the next class bye